Oh, yeah. Well- All right, dudes and dudettes. So to start off, guys, we're going to start with sizing your rope. Now, it's super important to have the right jump rope cable length. And as you can see here, you can measure that by stepping in the middle of the rope and pulling the handles up to your nipple or chest area. And as you can see, the nip, the rope handle should be right underneath my armpit. So as you can see here again, now the recommended size for your rope, guys, if you are 5'10 or taller, your rope cable, excluding the handles, should be three feet taller than your height. So I'm 6'3", so therefore my rope cable is 9'3", not including the handles. If you're below 5'10", just add two feet, 10 inches to that, and that's the length of the rope cable that you should have. See, again, pulling it up into underneath my armpit. It's super, super important to have the right rope length because you have the right combination of tightness and ability to spin that rope. Now, holding the rope, guys, before we go all out and start showing you how to jump, you go, you're going to need to know how to hold the rope. Now, notice here my body is in perfect symmetry. My wrists are jutting out to the sides of my hips directly, and jump rope is all about doing less. There is not a lot of movement involved, as you'll see here in a sec. But in terms of holding the rope, you don't want to be too high up. You don't want to have your wrist down too far because you want to spin the rope so that it clears your head with the same amount of inches or centimeters that it clears your feet. So you want to be right in the middle of that spin. Always have your knees bent, guys. I cannot stress that enough. You don't want to be you know, having your knees locked because that will definitely mess them up. You don't want to be having them, you know, too low because that would be a really hard way to jump rope. Anyway, next up, guys, we have get up on your toes, okay? So uh, with bending the knees, guys, you want to make sure that you're up on your the balls of your feet, on your toes the entire time you're jumping. You never want to be flat-footed, okay? And as you can see here, I'm jumping and I'm on my toes the entire time and my feet are not coming any more than at the most two inches off the ground for regular bounce. So somewhere in the range of one to two inches is all that. And as I see, as you can see, I start going faster and it requires that I actually jump um, lower to the ground. So now putting it all together, guys, spinning the rope, check out my body movements here. As you can see, jumping rope is all about doing less. The only thing that's working here, guys, you'll see in a sec, my wrists. My wrists are controlling everything. I cannot stress that enough. Some people jump too high and do almost like a butt kick, and you really want to focus more on your wrists, and the feet will follow, I promise. So check out here the wrists. Notice how I'm, I'm spinning the rope with every, just using my wrists, and my shoulders and everything above my elbows has no movement, as you can see here from the side. Look at that. Perfect. Up on the toes, knees bent. I'm swinging the rope, everything is controlled by my wrists and I'm making sure that everything is staying nice and tight. So go ahead guys, trust me, I was not and Brandon was not that good when we first started and that's totally fine. I know I say this in every video, but it just takes some practice. So next, what I wanna talk to you guys about is how can you just start doing this? What I'd recommend is that you guys start practicing three to five minutes a day to just get the fundamentals down of this regular bounce because this from here if you can spin the rope fast you can not only get an awesome body but you can do more tricks and make it challenging all right the first thing we're going to start off with is where you're holding the jump rope a lot of people don't talk about this but it's extremely important and so we're going to dive deep into where to put your hands on the rope right now and so you can see here you have very little control if you're grabbing the bottom of the jump rope. The, the rope is loose and it makes it harder to do tricks or just get into a good rhythm. What you wanna do is choke up on the handles so your fingers are very close to the actual steel cable and the ball bearing. This will give you a lot more control of the rope and make the spin a lot smoother. Next, we just wanna to talk to you about the importance of having a good, high quality jump rope. There's a lot of jump ropes out there and a lot of really inexpensive ones. And the reason why we talk about the cross rope so much is because it is the highest quality rope out there and it does make a significant difference in your ability to jump rope with more skill and your ability to jump rope, period. So the next thing we're gonna cover here is a very subtle example of what it looks like to have your wrists too far apart. And so you can see here, when your wrists are too far apart, when you try to do tricks, for example, the crisscross, you end up tripping over the rope because it's spread too long, right? And so that means there's not enough depth on the rope to be able to make it underneath your feet. And so you can see here, it's very evident that if your wrists are just a few degrees closer to each other, so you're bringing your, your as you can see I just demonstrated there, you're actually bringing your 
uh, wrists closer to each other, it's easier to do crisscrosses. It's easier to just get more fluid with the jump rope and be able to get a consistent rhythm with what you're doing. And so a beginner mistake a lot of people make is they have their, their wrists too far apart so they trip over the rope. So just remember whenever you're doing any tricks, bring your wrists just a little bit closer together and it's gonna feel a lot smoother for you. Next thing we wanna talk about is having just straight up good posture when you're jumping rope. You wanna create this nice alignment from this crown of your head down through the balls of your feet. So as you're hopping and you're jumping your rope on the balls of your feet, you wanna keep your shoulders back and down, and you wanna really focus on keeping that core and those glutes tight so you're not bending over, you have good posture throughout the movement. Next thing we wanna talk about is how high you're gonna be jumping off the ground when you are jumping rope. And so a lot of people when they first get started try to jump high in the air so they don't skip, so they don't trip over the rope. But really, that, that's the opposite of what ends up happening. When you jump higher in the air, a lot of times your hands come up. And so when your hands come up, you are also bringing the bottom of the jump rope up and you end up tripping over the rope. When you come just in a half inch or an inch off the ground, you have much more control. You're able to spin the rope more smoothly and your body isn't, again, isn't flailing around all over the place and you're controlling this movement. The final thing I want to talk about is just your ability to get into a flow state while you're jumping a rope. If you're really self-conscious about yourself and you're worried about you know, tripping up or people see you tripping up, just let all of that go. All that you know, worry about like messing up or like not you know, getting as good as you want to as fast as you'd like to, like don't worry about that stuff. The whole point of jumping rope is just to take care of yourself. So the fact that you're even doing it is a win in itself. Now beyond that, if you wanna focus on enjoying it even more, you wanna really just get into the state of being where the only thing that exists is every skip of that rope. And so you wanna even close your eyes sometimes and focus on just the movement of that rope. Or if you're listening to music, just the beat as every beat drops. And so put yourself in a state of being where you're completely present and you're gonna get better at jump rope so much faster.